What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a quick lesson for Passion Fruit by Drake. And this is going to be an intermediate lesson. There's going to be some stuff in here that's going to be a little tough for beginners. It's not impossible, there's just a lot of moving parts. So if you're a beginner, this might take a little bit longer. But that's not to discourage you from trying it out. It's an awesome song, very cool. It's got this really cool little guitar riff, kind of piano thing. I don't know if it's playing on guitar or piano, but we're playing it on guitar today. And it plays through the whole entire song. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright Groovy Guitarist, the very first thing that we need to know for Passion Fruit is that we're going to drop our low E down to a D. We're going to be in drop D tuning. For those of you who don't have a tuner or don't know how to do that, this is what you're going to do. You're going to pick your low E and then you're going to turn it down and then you're going to just match it to where it sounds like your D string. And that's a very quick way to get into drop D tuning if you do not have a guitar tuner. From there, we're going to slap a capo on 4th fret, and that's going to get us into the actual song, guys. So we're going to have basically four different shapes that we're going to play through this song. Now, we're not going to be strumming, but these are actually kind of based around chords. You could pair chords with this. Right now, I'm just going to go through this picking part. If you guys are interested in finding chords to just play this strumming, then you can let me know in the comments below. I may put them down there just anyways as my comment or whatever. But this is just going to be the picking part that plays throughout the whole song. So our first of the four shapes is going to be this. We're going to start with a middle finger on uh, third fret, not second fret, third fret of the A. So we're going to hit A, third fret, and then we're going to do an open G, and then we're going to do a second on G, and we're going to re repeat that three times. All right, so it's going to go... All right, and then on that last time through, there's going to be one more time, so it's four times total, but that last time we're going to do something a little different, so we're going to do... Third on A, open on G, and then we're going to do fourth with our ring finger on D. So, slowly all the way through that. So guys, that's going to be kind of the theme. All of these picking progressions are going to be that or similar to that. Um, and they're basically, we're just going to move a couple things around on this side uh, as we kind of go through this. And like I said, we got four shapes total. So second shape we're going to go through, almost the same exact thing, except what we're going to do is we're going to have an open A as our bass note this time. So instead of playing third A, we're going to play an open A. Everything else is going to be the same. So our, we're going to do open A, open G, second G, then we're going to play that three times total, and then we're going to do, again, same thing, last time through, we're going to add that fourth fret D, so we're going to have open A, open G, second G, three times, and the last one we're going to have open A, open G, and then fourth D, so all the way through that one real slow. All right, our third one, we're going to switch it up just a little bit, and basically we're going to have a second on A, and then we're going to have a fourth on D, and then we're going to basically just do the same thing we've been doing, except we're not going to have a change up in this one. We're just going to play this one four times through. So we're going to have A, D, G. We're going to play that four times through. So that slowly will be... So that was our third shape. Here is the last shape. Okay, so this is where it gets just a little bit weird. It's not complicated, but it's just a little bit weird. So what we're going to have is we're going to have that open low E, which is now a D. So we're going to play that big open low string. And then we're going to do open on D string. And then second on D string. And then we're going to do open low E again. And then we're going to do open D and then open A. So that's what that's gonna be the whole thing. We're not gonna repeat that at all. That's gonna be the whole thing right there. So that whole thing slow will look about like this. All right, and from there, we're gonna go back to the very first one, one time. It's gonna go. So that's our first chord progression, right? That first, not chord progression, but first little picking pattern that we went over. That second, on, or I'm sorry, third on A, and then open on G, two on G, 
and we're going to go through that twice. So guys, that is it, and it repeats through the whole entire song when it does that. So I'm going to run through that whole thing, and I'm probably not going to do it full speed. I'm going to try to get pretty close to full speed, but I haven't practiced it very much. So uh, just so you guys know, it's probably just a little bit quicker than that, but this is going to match literally exactly up with that little picking part or keys part, whatever it is, that plays throughout the whole entire song on Passion Fruit. So all together, it should look something like this. And guys, that is all you need to know to play Passion Fruit by Drake. Like I said, it's more of an intermediate song, but there's really nothing in here that beginners can't do. It just might take a little bit longer, just because there's a lot of moving parts. As always, if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have about 315 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post one to three new ones every single day. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, this is the perfect channel for you to check out. Lastly, guys, if you're interested in any of my gear, whether it's my camera, microphone, guitars, strings, picks, capos, any of that kind of stuff, I have that all linked in the description below. I get a lot of questions about the gear that I like to use to make these videos and the gear that I play with and stuff, so I went ahead and put all that in the description. That way it's easy for those of you who are curious to find. Guys, I hope y'all have a lot of fun playing Passion Fruit, and I'll see y'all soon.